Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the adjustments we can make to our images in Lightroom Mobile. As we can see, we have the ability to crop, make adjustments to refine our images, and apply Lightroom's default set of presets. Let's begin by cropping this image. I'm going to tap on the crop icon, and then you can see that I can select from a number of different crop aspect ratios. In order to reposition the crop, simply tap and drag. And then I can tap and drag to move my image around within that crop. If I want to reset the crop, I can double click on the crop boundary. And now let's unlock the aspect ratio by clicking on the lock icon. You'll also notice that by default, we are cropping from the center. If I prefer, I can toggle that off by clicking inside the centered tile. Now, as I tap and drag, it's going to crop from the corner point. Let's go ahead and crop this up a little bit and rearrange it like this. If I ever want to toggle off this overlay, right now it's in the rule of thirds, but you'll notice that every time I do a two-finger tap, it will cycle me through the different overlays. I can also choose to not show an overlay. If I want to rotate the image, I can click on the rotate icon underneath the lock icon. If I don't like that, we can undo it by clicking on the undo icon in the lower right. And you'll notice that I can change my flag status in the lower left by just tapping on the flag icon. If I'm happy with that crop and I want to move to the next image, I'll click on the thumbnail view and then scroll down until I find one that I want to work with. In this case, let's select this image, and I want to make some adjustments to it, so I'll tap on the Adjustment icon. If I want to adjust the white balance, I can tap in the white balance tile and then select from the different presets here. In order to hide the different options, I can tap again in the tile. And then to refine them, I might want to tap Temperature and then tap the slider here in order to make it warmer or cooler. In this case, we'll warm it up quite a bit. And then I'll choose to Auto Tone. Now, that seemed to make the image too bright, but I can't really make any informed decisions without a histogram, so I'll use a two-finger tap in the image in order to display information on the left as well as the histogram on the right. If I prefer, I can do a double-finger tap again to hide the histogram and only see the info. I can double-finger tap again to just show the histogram, and if I were to do it one more time, it would actually hide the histogram. But I'm going to use the histogram as I just tap and drag the slider a little bit to the left. Now, let's move on to our shadow area. I'm going to tap in that tile, and then I'm going to start dragging the slider to the right. Now, if I want to see what values in my image are being changed, I can do a two-finger tap within that slider area. And as soon as I tap and drag, you can see Lightroom is giving me a preview of the values that are being changed. Now, let's move a little bit further down. I'm going to add a little bit of clarity as well as a little bit of vibrance. Now, I'm going to use the thumbnail view here in order to move to another image. If I want to apply those same settings to this image, all I need to do is go ahead and select the image and then tap the Previous button. In this case, I want everything from the previous photo, and when I select that, you can see that all of the settings were copied and now pasted to this image. Now, let's move to our final image because I want to apply a preset. You can see that I have all of Lightroom's default presets to choose from. If I wanted to add an infrared filter, I could add that. Or we could come over to Color and maybe add a cross-process or an aged photo. If I want to add a vignette, all I need to do is tap it. Now, when we return to Lightroom on the desktop, we can see that that first image has been cropped and the flag status was changed. If we scroll down, we can see that our figures have been changed here. The white balance was changed as well as some tonal changes. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see the changes that were made to the Golden Temple. So, as you can see, using the adjustments in Lightroom Mobile is a powerful way to start editing your images. Of course, there are many more features to come. In the meantime, the Lightroom team welcomes your feedback, just as they did in the development of the desktop app. Remember, version 1 of the desktop app didn't even have a crop tool, and look how far we've come today. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.